So last time we put these Thule roof racks on and uh, cut them down to size. You can see that video in my profile. I'm gonna do a lot to this car um, in the next couple of months and maybe even years. But uh, one thing I wanna do is get rid of this chrome trim. Uh, I don't like chrome at all. It just doesn't look good, in my opinion. Um, that means this bumper is actually gonna get turned black eventually, but that's not what I'm doing today. Today I'm gonna focus on the uh, front grill. Um, as you can see, it's like faded and it's not like black black like it should be. Um, I already repainted uh, this front bumper, this, this front part of the bumper right here has already been repainted. Um, the uh, license plate holder um, down here is gonna get down here is gonna get painted, but I'm gonna get the whole front, um, the whole front valence, the M3 valence. Um, so that's not gonna that's not super important. But this is what I'm gonna do today. And right now in Massachusetts, it's like 40 degrees out. If you have to spray paint when it's colder out, I like to warm up the spray paint so that the spray paint itself is warmer. I don't know, it helps. Cause I have spray painted stuff in the cold before and it doesn't, uh, it never works out the way I wanted it to. So put your spray paint in some warm water, let it sit there while you get the rest of the car ready to be painted. And that helps it bond and stick in uh, dry correctly. So to take this front grill off, all you need to do is, uh, there's these clips right here, here, and there's a bunch in the front. There's one here, one here, one here, one here, one there, and one there. So there's those, those four, uh, well not four, there's um, eight of them. There's those eight clips. There's uh, a screw right there and a screw right there same on the other side and I've actually never taken this um, this piece off this part of the grill I don't know I think they're called like the kid kidneys or something like that um, I've never taken those off so I'm just gonna do that real quick see how that turns out so we'll pop off these oh all right so these just come off with those two clips and then it looks like it latches onto these. There's like these little grooves right here and these pieces latch on. All right, so it's just as easy as that. I'm just gonna clean these up slightly after I get them off. Um, I'm not going for like a pristine paint job. Like I said, I'm gonna work on this for a long time. Um, I just wanna get it all nice looking before I go on my trip. Just for my own reasons, you know, just like I don't want to drive around a car that looks like shit. So I'm just gonna clean it all up. Get all your hardware somewhere safe. I'm gonna just put them right in the bumper of this truck. Man, this car's in such good condition. <laughs> so these uh, front grill pieces, they have this foam uh, insulator on the top here. So when you close your hood, it actually uh, seals it. I don't know why, because the grill is supposed to let air into the engine. So it doesn't really make much sense, but I don't think a little bit of paint's gonna hurt it. So I'll probably just paint these after I wash the big pieces of dirt off of it with uh, a wire brush. So one of my favorite things to use to clean stuff is a wire brush. Um, you can get all different types of these. You can get them from like O'Reilly's or obviously your um, major tool stores. And uh, they're just really awesome because they can just take out like any dirt or anything that's in there. And the best part is you don't need to like wash it after because you got all the dirt out and you don't need to dry it because it's dry. So I always use a wire brush or sometimes a toothbrush. If uh, there's a not as thick of a layer of dirt, I'll just use a toothbrush. I'm not even really going to worry about cleaning the backside because that no one sees the backside so um it's not really going to be a big deal for me if i leave the backside a little bit dirty i just want the front to be nice and crisp black again to match the rest of the stuff that i've already painted so i'm just gonna finish cleaning up the other one and the uh and the kidney and once that's done i'm gonna just start painting it if there is grease or any wet 
sort of dirt on your car or any part that you're trying to clean, I highly suggest using like, uh, not acetone, um, naphtha. You should use like naphtha or a grease cleaner. I like naphtha a lot. It just takes everything off. You can use rubbing alcohol, anything that you need to get off uh, grease. See, look at that. The chrome is actually just coming off of this piece. We're right on that edge right there, you know. Um, and anything that's shiny that you need to paint to, I highly recommend you sand it first. Um, I actually have some sandpaper, so for this chrome pieces, I'm just gonna give it a once over, and all that does is it helps the paint stick to the shiny, the shiny surfaces that otherwise it would have a hard time sticking to since it's so smooth. Um, any uh, paint particles that are floating around in the air will land on your car, and then you'll have to buff out your car to get those particles off. So whenever you're painting, always paint away from people's cars. Learned that the hard way. Don't know how I'm gonna put this guy down. Probably just right down here. All right, so there's the pieces I'm gonna be painting. As you can see, the chrome is still somewhat shiny because I'm not trying to do a perfect job. I'm just trying to get my car look, looking decent. Grab your paint, give it some shakes. So whenever you're spray painting, you wanna do like Depending on what type of paint it is, but depending on the paint, you want to do like one very, 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 very light coat so that paint gets to settle on there and harden and gives the rest of the heart, the thicker coats, something good to stick to that it's designed to stick to. Like the paint in the primer, it's designed to stick to itself. So here's the first coat. It's hard to tell that it's a light coat with these because these were already black. But down here, you can see how light of a coat I put on because you can still see the chrome right through it. And uh, I'm gonna let this sit for probably five minutes or so and then uh, hit it again with a slightly heavier coat. Not super heavy, but just slightly heavier than this one to give it even more for the final coat to grip onto. These are, they look so much better. <laughs> All right, take you back in a sec. All right, so it's been a few minutes. I'm gonna do another coat. Um, it's not gonna be the final coat, but it's gonna be, you know, medium. after the second coat these look pretty much exactly the same look how much better this looks wow and you can see because of that first initial coat you can see how nice and smooth the paints going on it looks nice and shiny I don't see a lot of lumps there's a couple but you can expect that from a spray can um, especially on an older part that I did not take any time at all to clean and uh, if this is ever going to be like a showroom car, I'll make sure I redo these or get some nice new ones. But uh, this looks 100% better. Roof racks from last video. Check it out. Now we got the front grill coming together. Blocking out the uh, grill on the BMW. So it's going to look really good when it's done. I'm hoping to get rid of all the chrome eventually. I'm not a fan of chrome on cars in general. So... That bumper is gonna get turned red or black. All these window trim, all the gutters, those are all gonna be black. This back window trim that's completely destroyed, that's gonna be black. I've seen some videos of people painting them black, but they paint them gloss black. And that just looks kind of stupid next to the, uh, next to the flat black uh, rubber piece. So if you're gonna do gloss black, paint the freaking rubber pieces gloss too, dude. I'll probably keep the 325 logo chrome. I'm gonna keep this chromed. That front, that rear bumper is probably just gonna get all black. Probably gonna put a newer antenna on this. Um, I hate this antenna so much. I hate the ones that stick out like six feet. <clears throat> probably just put a newer antenna on it. This side strip piece, that's gonna be black or red. Red might look cool. 
the wheels aren't really chrome they're more like silver but I was thinking I was gonna paint them or powder coat them like a dark gray uh, I think dark gray would look cool at least until I get some nice wheels on it this has been um, repainted these haven't but they're in pretty good condition other than up here so that's gonna need to get fixed but not today it's getting a little bit dark out so I'll come back and we'll do one more coat on these and then uh, bring them inside to let them dry because it's warm. All right, last coat. The final coat's done. Uh, let them dry, bring them inside, put them back on the car. All right, it's getting kind of dark, but uh, I'll send some pictures to uh, when this is done. There'll be some pictures of it, but it's all back together. Uh, it looks really, really good in person. Um, the semi-gloss black just looks phenomenal on the uh, kidneys and it looks so much more black than, than what it did before just like it's supposed to so there'll be some uh, pictures when this is done and some video of it in the sunlight Thanks you guys for watching. Uh, please hit subscribe for more content and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.